Hello, I'm Elise Quevedo and welcome to the All In Talk Show. Let's discuss the power of AI in data solutions. To do that, today I am joined by Mr. Michael Chu, President of Huawei's Data Storage Marketing and Solutions Department. Hello, Michael. Nice to see you today. Hello, Elise. Nice to see you too. Now, Michael, large AI models are in full swing and a large amount of industry data has also been in use. What new changes will be made to the data in this process? When we talk about large AI models, we are talking about computing power, algorithm and data. Actually, three things. The first thing is hot and cold data are no longer distinguished. The second thing is data value is further unleashed. The third is data becomes an important asset, improving data availability, manageability, accessibility, and the efficient mobility will become a priority during enterprise data infrastructure construction. What new solutions will Huawei Data Storage introduce during MWC Barcelona 2024 for the subsequent changes and challenges? Thank you for your question. In the entire service process of the large AI model, data processing can be divided into four phases, collection, data pre-processing, training and uh, inference. Huawei launches the AI data lake solution to accelerate the whole AI service process through four capabilities. The first capability, unified data lake storage resource pool. It provides both a higher performance tier and a higher capacity tier for tiered data storage. Second one is a GFS data fabric. It efficiently collects across vendors, regions, and systems. The third is data to chain. It implements automatic uh, conversion of data into knowledge in one stop, specifically into a vector knowledge repository. The last one is a data management platform. It can globally manage and control data assets. In this way, data assets are visible, manageable, and controllable. Can you show us some real-world benefits for enterprise customers? Yes, I will give you a real case. This company is one of the leading AI service providers in China. They met some challenges in data processing. First, data preparation was time-consumed and uh, uh, even took up 60% of the end-to-end -end training duration of AI models. Second, they took more than 15 minutes to resume training after a break point, and the GPU utilization was lower than 15%. Uh, the third thing is this manual data migration was required for tens of billions of small training file sets. With Huawei data storage solution, we did three things. First, the intelligent tiering technology enables hot, warm, and cold data to be stored in appropriate storage tiers. Second, training can be resumed in just one minute, down from 15 minutes after every point. The last, technologies including seamless multi-protocol into working a user to achieve zero data migration. As a result, the efficiency of cross-region data scheduling is three times higher than before. Thank you so much, Michael. That was so insightful. Stay tuned to All In Talk if you want to know more. Thank you for your time, and let's keep watching the show. Let's go, Michael. Sure.